Quite. Great new product that you've unveiled, that it's going to be IBM blockchain. What actually does it do? So blockchain is one of the most fundamental technologies since the early days of the internet. Blockchain is going to change transactions. What the internet did for information, the blockchain will do for transactions. And when you ask how is it going to do that, it's the first time we can have trusted transactions between multiple parties, and that's what blockchain enables. And so, key, immediately I think the key participants here would be the banks, but is this across industry that this can be used? Many. Uh, transportation, like shipping containers, companies like Maersk, healthcare, we're with the FDA on exchanging healthcare records in terms of uh, transportation, healthcare, you can go to food, where you have companies like Walmart doing food safety, and of course the financials, capital markets, settlements, uh, private equ equity exchanges, to name a few. I believe blockchain will change the physical world, not just the world of money. And so, is this already being sold out to clients? How much do you think this will actually drive revenue for IBM? Is there a competitor out there? Uh, so, it is going to drive revenue. We have not quantified the number yet, but if I give you the number of clients we are working with, over 400, and we have hundreds of people inside IBM, I think at last count, 600 and change, working on it, that gives you a sense of our excitement on the opportunity, as well as the investment we are putting behind it. Investment is strong in IBM research, do you feel, that there's enough going in? Absolutely. Uh, not just at, uh, on blockchain, but across the board. I mean, IBM research has been a fountain of innovation for the company. The day AI, which you see out as the Watson platform, blockchain, latest announcement on quantum computing, these are all uh, things that are coming out of IBM research. So tell me, the healthcare companies, the transportation companies, the banks, who is knocking on your door from within those businesses? Is it the developers who are working within them, the CTOs? Who comes to you saying, I want to use this in my business? So two things. So there's a whole open source movement, sort of uh, in the name of the Hyperledger project with the Linux Foundation, and that's developers and CTOs, and that's the ground up. But it's amazing, when I go call on these companies, it's often the CEO who gets into the conversation and the CEO drives it with much greater awareness of the benefit back to their business. They look at it and they say, how many things can I have that could improve my supply chain by five or 10 or 15%? And when you think of how big the number is in the supply chain and that reward back into the real world, this is going to transform the way that these things work. I mean, I feel in, particularly in the 2017, every other week we've been talking about the record high or the sudden plummet in Bitcoin, not to mention some of the other cryptocurrencies. How much is the volatility in cryptocurrencies sometimes getting blurred into concerns about blockchain and that underlies it? It's a great question. These are two completely separate universes. We should think about it. This word blockchain gets applied. There's a world of cyber currency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, et cetera. They're anonymous, they do mining, and let's put them on one side. They have value, but that's not what we talk about. There's enterprise blockchain meant for business. Things like Hyperledger are a ground truth within that. These do not depend upon any anonymity, they're permission, meaning you know who the participants are, and they depend upon cryptography, and they can scale to the thousands of transactions per second an enterprise needs. Just because there's some commonality in the computer science terms, let's not mix these two up. How quickly do you think you'll have people copying what you're doing? How, uh, this, are you first entrant into really supplying a way to use the blockchain in enterprise? Absolutely, we believe you're far and ahead leading for enterprise blockchain. That said, in any technology that's appealing, I will get competition. The way I stay ahead is by innovating and by getting more clients and by building out blockchain networks.